this particular session, we will talk about the role of the IT in the decision making process. Uh, and in this decision making process, uh, when we talk about the role of technology, information technology, then the decision how the uh, this information technology is playing the important role uh, in, in the decision making and the controlling of those organizational decision making uh, systems. So, management information systems uh, role and, and an executive information system are there. Decision support system which is giving you the feedback control model and the management control system also and as usual the case study, research paper, book recommendations and the references are there. So, information is a source of learning, but unless it is organized processes and available to the right people in a format for the decision making, it is a burden not a benefit is there. So, information technology evaluation is initially IT system in organizations were applied to operations. Now, these initial applications were based on the notion of the machine uh, rooms uh, efficiency that is current operations uh, could be performed more efficiently with the use of the computer technology. The goal was to reduce the labor cost by having these computers uh, take over some task. Um, these systems became uh, known as a transaction process systems are there which automates organizations routine day to day business uh, transactions. In recent years, the use of the data uh, warehouse and the business intelligence software has expanded the usefulness of these uh, accumulated data. Data warehousing is the use of the huge databases uh, and that combine all of a company's data and allow users to access uh, the data directly and create or reports and obtain responses on what if question, uh, questions are there. Here, uh, in this case, this TDP, evolution of organization applications of technology, you will find that is the strategy, plans and non-profiting is there and then the, this case uh, there, there, when then, then this particular management level is there where the non-program decisions are there, then the operationals and past and program decisions are there. So, here the operations will be the transaction processing systems will be there. Now, this TPS system which will be having the data warehousing and data mining also and on the basis of this data warehousing and data mining, the operation systems will be decided. Second is the decision making and the control is there. So, management information systems, uh, decision support systems, uh, executive information systems, uh, management control systems and the balance scorecard is there. The adding strategic values are the internal coordination and the external coordination. So, internal coordination is the intranet, social networking, knowledge management and enterprise resource planning is there. In the external coordination, integrated enterprise, customer relationships and the e-business is there. So, this system complexity develops from the uh, low to high for the direction of the information system evaluation which talks from the operations, then the decision making and control and the adding the strategic value through the internal coordination and the external coordination is there. Building a database at the large corporation is a huge undertaking that includes defining hundreds of the gigabytes of data from many existing systems providing a means of continually updating the data, making it all compatible and linking it to the software that makes it possible to for users to search and analyze the data and produce helpful reports. Software for business intelligence also called analytic software uh, helps users make sense of the all this data. So, business intelligence refers to a high tech analysis of a company's data in order to make the better strategic decisions. Sometimes referred to as data mining, business intelligence means searching out and analyzing data from multiple sources across the enterprise and increasingly from outside sources as well to identify patterns and relationships that might be significant. Though the application of more sophisticated computer based systems, managers have tools to improve the performance of departments and the organization as a whole. And these applications use information stored in corporate databases to help managers control the organization and make important decisions. The following figure illustrates uh, the various elements of the uh, information uh, reporting systems and decision support systems and the execute information systems. This facilitates the rapid and the effective decision making. The elements for the control include the various management rapid control systems uh, including the executives the dashboards and the procedure known as the balance scorecard is there. Information systems for managerial control and decision making is here the corporate databases is there, information for the decision making and therefore the information for the control is there. 
So these MIS uh, has the executive information systems and the reporting systems uh, and uh, they, they create these uh, decision support systems are there. Here the feedback control systems are there where the balance scorecard and management control systems behavior versus the outcome control is there. So here we will find that is this information system which has been created here which is creating the either the MIS or through the feedback control system is there. If we go by the MIS then we find that is the executive information system so that, that EIS will work or the reporting system decision support systems are there. While in the case of the feedback control system, it will be based on the uh, balance scorecard and management system controls behavior versus the outcome control is there. So we will see the, now in the details these processes. MIS uh, is a computer based system that provides information and support uh, the, uh, for the managerial decision making. The MIS is supported by the organization's transaction processing systems and by organizational and external databases are there. The information reporting system, the most common form of the MIS provides mid-level uh, managers with reports that summarize data and support day-to-day -day decision making is there. For example, when managers need to make decisions about the production scheduling, um, they can review data on the anticipated number of the orders within the next month, inventory levels and availability of the human resources. HRS casinos and information reporting system keeps the track of detailed information on each player and uses quantitative models to predict such uh, each customer's potential long term value. The information helps managers create customized marketing and the plans as well as the provide the customers just the right combination of the services and rewards is there. Well, when, when we talk about an executive information systems. It is a high level application that facilitates decision making at the highest level of the management. These systems are typically based on the software that can convert the large amounts of complex data into the pertinent information and provide that information to the top managers in a timely fashion. For example, Motorola semiconductor product sector based in Austin, Texas had massive amounts of stored data but managers could not find what they needed. The company implemented an EIA system that is a executive information system uh, using the online analytical processing software so that the more than 8000 senior executives as well as the managers and the project uh, analysts in finance, marketing, sales and accounting department around the world could quickly um, get information about the customer buying trends, manufacturing and so forth uh, right from their the desktop computers are there. So therefore, in that case, here uh, the, the executives were involved for these senior executives uh, with, which are taking the uh, in having the information uh, um, from, from their uh, place only. A decision support system uh, provides the specific benefits to managers at all levels of organization and these interactive computer based systems rely on decision models and integrated databases are there. Using decision support software, users can pose a series of what if questions uh, to the test possible alternatives are there. Based on assumptions using the software as specified by the user, managers can explore various alternatives and receive information to help them choose the alternative that will likely have the best outcome. The M1 adopted APUA software to faster and smoother its operation is there. Another primary use of information in organization is for control. Effective control system involves the use of feedback to determine whether the organizational performance uh, that meets the established standards to help the organization uh, attain its goals. The manager set up the systems for the organizational control and that consists of the four uh, key steps in the feedback control model illustrated in the following figures. The cycle of a control system includes the setting strategic goals, establishing the metrics and standards for the performance, comparing the metrics of actual performance with standards and the correcting and changing the activities as needed is there. A simplified feedback control system is there and that is a set of strategic goals, establish the uh, metrics and the standards of performance uh, and the compare the metrics of the actual performance is, uh, is the standards and take the corrective actions as needed is there. So therefore, in that case you will find that is the here the proper feedback control system and that is making these mechanisms are there. Now here. And then example from the Jefferson Pilot Financial, a full service life insurance and annuities company illustrates the feedback control model. And the executives established goal for the one department to reduce uh, the time between the uh, receiving an application and in issuing a policy for by 60 percent and to reduce the number of uh, reissued uh, uh, policies due to the errors by 
40 percent. When performance was measured, the unit had met its goal of reducing the issues by the 40 percent and had surpassed the application to policy goal reducing turnaround time by the 70 percent is there. So, feedback control helps managers make needed adjustments in the work activities, standard of performance or goals to help the organizations be successful. Management control system are the broadly defined as the formal routine reports and procedures that use information to maintain or alter patterns in the organizational activities. These are feedback control systems include the formulating the information, uh, informational based activities uh, for planning, budgeting, performance evaluation, resource allocation and the employee rewards are there. Uh, targets are set in advance, outcomes compared to targets uh, and the variance reported to managers for the corrective action. Uh, the following figure lists four control system elements that are often considered the core of management control systems. The budget and financial reports, periodic non-financial and statistical reports, reward systems and the quality control system is there. Now, on the basis of these four control systems, uh, the subsystems and the content and frequency has been developed. This the subsystem is the budget financial reports are there and the content and frequency will be financial resources, expenditure, profit and loss monthly. While the statistical reports are there which are talking about the non-financial outputs weekly or monthly often computer based. Reward system is there where the evaluation of managers based on the department goals and performance set rewards yearly. And the quality control systems that is the participation, benchmarking guidelines, six sigma goals and the continuous is there. Now here. The budget of a typically used uh, uh, under this uh, management control system uh, and for the organization's expenditure for the year and then report actual cost on monthly or the quarterly basis. As a means of the budget, uh, the report uh, actual as well as the planned expenditure for the cash, assets and raw materials, salaries and the other resources so that the managers can take action to correct the variances are there. Sometimes the variance between the budgeted and actual amounts for each line item is listed as a part of the budget. The balance sheet shows the firm's financial position with respect to assets and liabilities at a specific point in time. An income statement sometimes called a profit and loss statement summarizes the company's financial performance for a given time interval such as for the week month or a year is there. Managers can uh, use the periodic statistical reports to evaluate and monitor non-financial performance such as customer satisfaction, employee performance or the rate of the staff turnover is there. For e-commerce organizations, important measurement of the non-financial performance includes metrics such as the stickiness, uh, uh, how much attention a site gets over time, the conversion rate, the ratio of buyers, so site visitors are there. And site performance data such as how long it takes a load, uh, uh, a page or how long it takes a place uh, on an order. Managers often track both the non-financial and financial data by means of an executive dashboard is there. An executive dashboard sometimes called a business performance dashboard is a software program that presents key business information in graphical easy to interpret form and the alerts managers to any deviations or an unusual pattern in the data is there. Yeah, in management control system, in an executive dashboard, managers can see at a, at a glance they control indicators such as sales in relation to the targets, uh, fill rates and orders, number of products on back order, production status or a percentage of uh, uh, the customer service, calls resolved and then drill down for the additional detail. Dashboard systems coordinate and organize and display the metrics that managers consider most important to monitor on a regular basis with software automatically updating the figures. Uh, at varies on communications, a dashboard system keeps track of more than 300 different measures of business performance in three board categories. Market pulse including daily basis uh, numbers and market share. Customer service for example call the tenure at uh, times uh, and therefore in that case uh, uh, it is always call centers. Uh, which are having the wait times and the problem resolved in the first call and the cost drivers such as the number of the repair trucks in the field is there. So, these are these are the certain uh, examples uh, by which the performance uh, business performance uh, that can be uh, measured on the dashboard. So, elements of a good control systems are uh, must possess the certain basic elements since they all play a major role the absence of any of them can make the whole system weak. And uh, hence the managers must ensure that their control system contains the following basic elements and consideration. The first one is the feedback. Feedback is the uh, backbone of all control systems. This feedback is nothing but the information that managers use to correct their organization's actual performances there. 
the aim of feedback is basically to adjust future actions using the uh, previous experience. Now, the managers use the information and they, they receive from the feedbacks to implement the corrective measures are there. Such many measures generally help in bridging the gap between the actual performance of the organization and its goals are there. The another uh, part of the elements of a good control system is uh, that must be control must be objective. The second essential requirement of a good control system is that uh, uh, it must always be objective. A subjective criteria should never be the basis of evaluating the actual performance. For example, evaluation of an employee's performance should comprise of the standards like working hours, productivity, efficiency, etc. Managers should not evaluate employees using the subjective prejudices is there. The prompt reporting of the deviations are there. Now, this element of the controlling system basically requires the quick reporting of the deviations and the discrepancies. If the sum work is not going according to the plans, relevant managers must take notice of this immediately. This is because any delay in reporting problems and taking corrective measures can lead to financial losses for a business is there. So, control system should be forward open looking. Control system can often suffer from the defect of delays in reporting of deviations and making of corrective measures. Now, hence managers must ensure that their control system uh, are uh, forward looking and they will help in predicting uh, the de these deviations in advance as well as the uh, giving educator uh, time for the uh, course correction is there. Now, on basis of this uh, the control will be the more effective. The control system is also required to be flexible. A rigid control system can often make it ineffective in extraordinary and unpredictable situations. So, it should thus be flexible and open to changes. Managers must be able to adopt their control measures um, as per the requirements of the every possible scenario. The hierarchical suitability, almost all business organizations possess the management hierarchies of comprising of managers uh, at various positions and the levels are there. Since each uh, performance controlling function at this level, the system itself must suit his organizational hierarchies. Every manager must have adequate powers for this purpose and the low performance for evolution of the should be effective. So, uh, economic uh, control is also required. So, therefore, every good controlling system has to be economical when it comes to its implementation and maintenance. In other words, its benefits should be uh, outweigh its costs. So, an organization must be able to afford it and also derive all possible advantages from it. The control should focus on workers, uh, good control systems always focus on workers instead of the work itself. Since it is workers who implement these systems, everybody should be able to work with them uh, effectively. Now, the strategic control points, uh, it talks about not all deviation requires a level of attention uh, and the importance. For example, if an infrastructure company loses one government tender for constructing roads, it can work on the other projects are there. However, if the government blacklists it altogether due to its financial regularities, this can be a huge issue. A good control system must be able to deal with the every deviations as per its seriousness is concerned. No organizations can afford a god equal of importance to each and every problem. This is basically the whole aim of the strategic control uh, points are there. So, control must be the simple be understand and the sophisticated policies can make the elements of the control system uh, difficult to understand and the implement is there. So, a good system however, is always simple to comprehend and work on. Thus, uh, before launching any controlling uh, measures, managers should first check whether their employees will be able to understand them. They should be also try to resolve any ambiguity, any confusion and uh, that may arise later is there. Now, we will talk about the case study, the practical implications. So, Raymond has a hold of over 60 percent market share in state suiting in India and with the company exporting to over 50 countries, it ranks among the first three fully integrated manufacturers uh, of the uh, state suited in the world. So, USA, Canada, Europe, Japan and Middle East happen to be among its clients. The Raymond retail shops offer, uh, offer main complete wardrobe solutions, these their stocks uh, Stock product belong to the four brands, namely the Manzoni, Parks, Park Avenue, and Color Plus is there. Raymond requires all its franchises to adopt the pure point of sale software applied by the tele. All decisions related to the company's operations, such as the stock report, sales report, billing inventory, CRM database, and the loyalty card program, are taken with the help of the POS. Are them. The advantage the software had to offer the following because of the integration and reduction in error was witnessed. Orders given were more accurate to POS help for forest demand. 
As a lot of manual operations were rendered redundant due to the introduction of POS, uh, it lifted the model of the employees. As the scanner would fade in the transaction details of the database in real time, it would be result in much quicker and error free billing since no manual feeding was required and reduce the un unnecessary paper uh, drastically. The company's loyalty card program embedded our customers to use the third country wide without the store saving to maintain the separate uh, uh, records are there. The particular store record could easily download the required data from the company's centralized database is there. This is the research paper, uh, Big Data Management and Environmental Performance. Uh, here the role of the big data decision making capabilities and the decision making quality is there. Now, the purpose of this study undertaken to examine the antecedents and the role in big data decision making capabilities uh, towards the decision making quality and environment performance among the Chinese public and the private hospitals. It also examined the moderating effect on big data governments that was almost ignored in the previous studies. This conceptual paper was literature review method to the analyze and categorize the current research on organizational resilience. And then based on the analysis of existing organizational resilience studies, uh, this paper proposes the integrated model uh, for a more exclusive and integrated concept of an organizational resilience with the refined future research directions are there. Finding revealed that uh, data management challenges, leadership focus, talent management, technology and the organizational culture for the big data are significant antecedents. So, uh, here because of these uh, both public and private hospitals are work uh, for the in this particular study were considered, moreover it was also found that the big data decision making capabilities played a key role to improve the decision making quality, effectiveness and the efficiency, which uh, positively contribute towards the environmental performance in public and private hospitals of China. Now, public hospitals are paying greater attention to big data management for the sake of the quality decision making and environmental performance than the private hospitals are there. And this study provides guidelines required by the hospitals to strengthen their big data capabilities uh, to improve decision making quality and environmental performance. Uh, the proposed model provides an insight look at the dynamic capabilities theory in the domain of the big data management uh, to tackle the environmental issues in the hospitals. Uh, the current study is a novel addition in the literature and it identifies that big data capabilities are the ancient to be a game changer player in effective decision making and to improve the environmental performance in the health sector is there. The information technology strategy decision making marketing of managers, the book recommendation is the inform, uh, by the, in the strategic decision making for the managers uh, uh, and the authors are the Henry C. Lucras and the junior is there. This, uh, this book is the uh, published by the Valley India Private Limited uh, and uh, here in this book uh, you we will find that is uh, gives the managers the, the tools to effectively manage technology in a 21st century organizations. The author clearly demonstrated how to best allocate resources to and within the technology functions are there. He also included a framework for determining the IT strategy given the dynamic environment of the electronic commerce and the internet is there. Uh, here in this book we will find that uh, what we have discussed into the earlier sessions uh, uh, with the role of the information technology and that is to be taken. Here I would also like to make uh, uh, a case study of the State Bank of India. Now where in this uh, these uh, technology IT was uh, introduced, uh, computer was introduced uh, and then uh, it was resisted. Many companies they feel that is this uh, introduction of technology uh, is uh, uh, may, may be getting the losing of the jobs of the manpower is there. So, this threat uh, uh, for these union leaders or the organizations employees uh, uh, they have a, they feel that is a threat, but the dead time has gone. Now, we have seen like for example, uh, I would like to give the example of SBI State Bank of India uh, which has developed the technological system and now convert uh, has working on this uh, or, uh, from this uh, internet banking to the mobile banking that is the uh, worldwide wireless web to the from these. Uh, uh, net banking uh, was there. So, therefore, in this case from the www to the www. So, therefore, in this case uh, we will find that is the if we are we are making the more introduction or the use of the information technology at the workplace your decision making power. 
uh, that is becoming a very very much uh, easy is there. So, you will find a uh, number of the models are there uh, which are taking the help of the softwares, uh, maybe the analytical softwares are there uh, which uh, you can use and find out uh, that is the you are required to develop a particular uh, the customized software also or when we talking about the like here in the case study it has been mentioned about the ERP is there. And when we are talking about this particular ERP, so then we talk about that is the how oh, this ERP system that is enhancing the efficiency of there. Now, to conclude this particular session, I would like to say that is whenever we are taking a uh, particular decision and then the role of the information technology that becomes uh, uh, very crucial. And uh, first and foremost is it is helping us uh, uh, to now uh, working the beyond the boundaries and therefore, in that case uh, uh, if uh, for decision making uh, system, uh, if you require certain the information and that information earlier was restricted with the geographical areas. Now, that information for resolve the problem and that you can get uh, um, across the boundaries and uh, that is also in a very short period of time. So, therefore, in that case you find that is the this particular aspect uh, of the collecting the data and the analyzing the data, interpretation of data and then having the converting that data into information information into knowledge, knowledge into wisdom and wisdom into truth. So, therefore, in that case this particular pyramid uh, uh, that which we convert uh, is that data is making a strong sense uh, uh, for the decision making process is there. So, uh, with the help of the IT we create the knowledge management uh, database management systems uh, and these database management systems uh, they, they are helping you uh, for the taking the decisions are there whether it is a manufacturing industry or whether it is a service industry is there. So, this book uh, uh, making these uh, technology transforms in the organization, a dynamic model of IT strategy in a net centric economy, new business models, uh, globalization in IT in international business, assessing the value of investing in IT, the productivity products, IT investment decisions. Uh, now, you see that is the when you we talk about that is the uh, taking the decisions through the IT, then definitely there is some cost is there and that cost is to be decided. The, uh, that is the computer system, database, powerhouse networks, uh, uh, changing how business is done, uh, ERP and CRM as I mentioned that is how these business processes are helping in decision making and intelligent systems are there. Technology has and have nots, the digital divide is the US and the world, uh, ethical issues and uh, look uh, and uh, to look ahead and because the many times when you are taking the uh, uh, the help of the information technology, you should not forget the business ethics. These are the references, uh, the book this is one is the uh, uh, Richard Doft and Macintosh, the nature and use of the formal control system for manager control and strategic implementation. Um, this uh, the general management uh, and uh, this paper has been published. So, please uh, uh, look into this particular paper. Similarly, uh, like the Libya Buchanan, Working Wonders on the Web is there, Raymond, Raymond uh, is book is there, which is uh, information technology and changing framework of organization, organizational science uh, uh, and uh, Eric Berkman, how to stay ahead in the curve that is a CEO that is who talks about that is uh, making general use of uh, on uh, this uh, particular technology the, which has been published uh, into the Wall Street uh, uh, Journal Ma and the Megan's uh, uh, Centosus is the Motorola Semiconductor Product uh, Sector is ES, EIS and the uh, Gary Lowe and, 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 and the Data Mine Harvard Business Review that will be also giving you the help to study uh, in detail further uh, this particular aspect uh, of this the role of information technology into the business. These are the further references for the papers are there which you can find out the research papers uh, uh, how they, they are uh, um, the studies have been conducted and what are their findings are there. Uh, I am sure this all will help you to understand what is the role of the information technology in the decision making processes there. Thank you.